Like an acorn, I've always lived under the shade of an oak tree. I remember sitting on my grandfather's lap for two days on a bus when he brought me home to Mexico after my mother died. I was only six. My grandfather was a combat journalist, a poet, a writer, a painter, an inventor. Some people said he was a troublemaker because he would write about injustice and then get thrown in jail. He used to recite poetry to me about nature under a full moon, El Planilunio. He would tell me about seeing Puji, the bear, and the Sierra Madre when he worked for the railroad, and how now they were disappearing because of progress. He would tell me animal stories under the big tree next to his shack, behind my grandmother's house. I remember the smell of his shirt because bath days were on Fridays, even in summer. He would show me how to blow bubbles with a wooden thread spool and help me have funerals for bugs and small birds. I wanted to be just like him. So I left for Montana to go learn about Buji. My grandfather died while I was gone. I came back to Mexico with technology and books and modern ways of thinking different than my grandfather's. But when I move to the mountains and live with the vaqueros, ganaderos, and mascogos, they always seem to know more than I did. Where the bears lived, where they ate, where they found water. My fancy tools and books couldn't explain the largeness of the landscapes and why the bears came and went. How could they? These stories were as old as the rocks and trees. Then one day, an acorn fell into my lap while I was sitting under an oak tree watching the bears fight over acorns and water. As if the great oak tree was asking me, what do you think is happening? I opened my mind's eye and let myself see what the mountains and people and acorns were telling me. I remembered that acorns are sacred to the Tepehuanes, my grandfather's people. I could see hundreds no, thousands of bears over the centuries, crossing deserts, looking for water and food, escaping drought and wildfires, wandering over the vast landscapes, making new homes, and coming back when it rained to look for acorns. Just like my grandfather's people. They already had the answers. And after 30 years, I'm now relearning them. <laughs>